And welcome back. We'll take a look at the Diamond Dancers on field. They're in their eighth season with the Milwaukee Brewers right now. And they're actually one of the first professional dance teams in baseball. Next month, they'll show off their moves in a big dance competition to raise money for pancreatic cancer. And Chelsea Bushman is the team's captain. She's here with Stephanie Klug, who used to dance with the team. She lost her mother and grandmother to pancreatic cancer. And Holly Ignatowski is also here. She's with Wisconsin's Pancreatic Cancer Network. Welcome, ladies. Thanks for being Thank here. You. Thank you. So the Diamond Dancers, I have to ask, first of all, are you guys ever referred to as the Double Ds? <laughs> I can't say we've ever been referred it's to be as that. Well. Now. <laughs> yeah, that <laughs> might face at least. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, how did the organization come about, um, and how did you guys become dancers that uh, give to charity? Um, well, we started eight years ago. Um, our founder was Brianna Gasper. She decided to put a team together to dance for the Milwaukee Brewers. And it's just every year we get more and more involved in the community um, at the Brewers games as well as other charitable events throughout mm -hmm. the season. Um, usually it's 20 to 30 um, community appearances that we do per season. Yeah, it's a big responsibility. I've judged the dance tryouts before. And it, it is something that you're asked and uh, put forth to, to say, you know, how involved with you in the right. community are are you? Mm -hmm. How committed are you to being a part of the team? Because Definitely. it is a big commitment and you truly care about a lot of causes, including the one um, that you're doing for pancreatic cancer. Yeah. Why did you decide to host an event for pancreatic cancer? Um, well, Stephanie here um, was a member of our te team and went through um, pancreatic cancer firsthand. So we actually decided to put together our cause for a dance competition. Um, we've always wanted to host a dance competition and the best way to do it is to also have it go towards charity. So all of the proceeds will be going towards pancreatic cancer this mm -hmm. year. And Holly, what are some of the latest statistics with pancreatic cancer today? Pancreatic cancer is the fourth deadliest cancer of the major cancers, but it's also the least funded. It only gets about 2% of the National Cancer Institute's budget. And so we're working diligently to change that because the statistics haven't changed in about 40 years. Mm. It, uh, the survival rate is currently at 6%. It's the only major cancer with a survival rate in the single digits. Wow. Mm. It's, you know, it's sad to know that you lost your mother and your grandmother to pancreatic mm -hmm. cancer. I think mm -hmm. any time a family goes through a tragedy, it's tough. Sure. It, I, I can imagine that you coming with a, you know, the Diamond Dancers and they're putting on this big event. I mean, how does that make you feel? What are your goals and what do you hope to accomplish mm -hmm. at the event? Um, it just feels great that you have so many people behind you to support me and what I've gone through and it's just great to like start raising awareness to everybody because like she said not a lot of people know about it mm -hmm. so to have this competition and to raise awareness and money towards the pancreatic cancer is just mm -hmm. awesome. Mm -hmm. Well and it clearly needs it I mean Holly and this is you just gave is staggering it's very dis like upsetting how are how can people donate how can how will this competition mm -hmm. What do you, how much do you hope to raise and how can people donate mm -hmm. if they can't attend? Our goal is $10,000. Um, we, right now, are just looking for teams to register. We have everything from elementary up through high school and all-star teams um, on our registration forms, as well as solos and small groups that are welcome to join. Um, and also, um, you can also donate by putting together a basket for our silent auction that we'll also be hosting there. Um, right now we're just trying to spread the word and get teams registered. So. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's exciting. So when they come out, they'll be able to compete, mm -hmm. which is a lot of fun. I know dancers are always looking for places to kind of show off and practice and, Definitely. you know, practice and work on their craft. So it's exciting. Mm -hmm. is, is there a number of teams that you can accept or is it open? It's open. All right. It's all open. How mm -hmm. many do you as have so far? As many as we can get. <laughs> yes, as many as we can get. I believe right now we have uh, about six teams registered okay. with multiple routines per team. And then we have a whole bunch of solos and small group so far so just looking and to get that any number style up. of dance can come and any style how do they bring their music to dance to um, they just bring it right on CD to us and we'll have our little DJ all set up and ready to go hopefully the racing sausages will make an appearance and maybe Bernie <laughs> so yeah it'll be a lot see of if fun. they do some dancing too exactly <laughs> be great. No. yeah will you be dancing with the team because you're not you're not currently dancing no are you? I was on it for six years yeah. and actually this past year is the first year that I haven't been on it so uh -huh. 
I don't know, maybe I'll make an appearance. We'll have to see. <laughs> I think you might have to. I think you might have to make an appearance. Well, and I think, you know, when, when we talk about the money that's raised, what, what does the money go for? What are you hoping to use the $10,000 towards? We want to use it toward research. We want to encourage scientists to really look into pancreatic cancer because right now the money is not there. Mm -hmm. It's not attractive for them to go into that field. So all of the money goes toward research, supporting families, and really creating hope. Mm -hmm. I think it's a great cause. It's a wonderful event you girls are putting on, mm -hmm. and it's so fun to watch you guys dance mm -hmm. and all the other dance teams as well. So you can also be a part of Power of the Purple, the dance uh, competition that's benefiting the Pancreatic Cancer Network. It's Saturday, September 21st. You can visit the website WIProDance.com to learn more about the event and also be a part of it if you want to dance or you have a dance team as well that wants to take part. Thanks so much, oh, girls. Thank you. Yeah. Good luck in raising all the money. I have a feeling you're going to raise more than your goal. Oh, so. <laughs> all right.